Okay, so let's get right to it and I'll show you how to flip your footage. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your effects panel is open here. So if you can't see it, you might have to click right here on effects or go into window and click on effects here. Then we're just gonna go to the folder that says video effects, click on this little drop down and go down to the folder that says transform and click another drop down. And then it's as simple as this. If you wanna flip horizontally, then just drag this one onto your clip and boom, it'll flip horizontal. And if you wanna flip vertical, just drag this one and it'll flip vertical. The other way you can do it is actually by rotating it. So if you click on your clip and go into effect controls and go down to rotation, if you just type in here 180 and hit enter, that will rotate it around as well. So if we click and slide here, you can see that when it was upside down, this is you filming with your phone or whatever upside down, and it's actually a full 180 rotation. It's not just a vertical flip. On the same note, you might have footage that you filmed horizontal, but it's showing up vertical. In that case, just click on your clip, go into effect controls, and you're gonna rotate either 90, or in this case, negative 90 to fix it. The same thing applies for footage that you filmed vertical and you want it in a horizontal timeline. For those ones, you do the exact same thing. You go into rotation and you go 90, but you might have to scale it back to fit it within the frame. If you have a sequence that is a vertical sequence and you filmed a vertical clip but it's showing up horizontal, again, it's the exact same thing. Just rotate 90 and it'll be fixed. So there's actually a couple different reasons that you might use horizontal or vertical flip. One of them, if we just look at this example here, might just be aesthetically. You don't like the branch coming from this side, you want it to come from the other side, so you just drag horizontal flip onto there and now it's coming from the other side. That one's okay for an image that doesn't have writing on it or anything like that. You can flip it as much as you want and it'll work. But what about something like this? This is the second reason. So you import your footage and it's actually upside down or backwards. So in that case, you might think this is easy to just go, well, it's upside down, so I'm gonna drag vertical flip. Well, if we look at the footage here, you can now see that the writing on the money here is actually backwards. So anything that's upside down like that, it's actually rotated. So you actually have to bring in horizontal flip as well, and then that'll put everything back to the way it should be. The third reason why you might want to use horizontal or vertical flip is if you have movement in your scene, like she's walking to the right, and then she's still walking to the right on the next cut. So let's look at it again, close up here, she's walking to the right, and then to the right again on the wide. So if you have footage, like this train is going to the right, and then your next clip is going to the left, then you would drag in horizontal flip, and then when we watch it again, the train's going to the right, and then the footage is going to the right. So they kind of match better. They're going in the same direction. Same thing here. This person's walking up and then this person's walking down. So if you drag vertical flip on that one and just push play, then you can see that now it looks smoother and more cohesive as one thing because they're both walking in the same direction. Something to be aware of though, is that you can't. don't just always put it on your second clip. So in this case, the bike is riding to the left and then this plane is going to the right. So you might go, hey, I'm gonna drag horizontal flip on here, but now the plane is backwards. It might look better, smooth, they're both going in the same direction, but the plane is backwards. So I'm gonna undo that. In this case, there's not much text or anything that we can see really on the bike. So I would drag horizontal flip onto that one instead. Now the bike is riding that way. And you don't really notice this backwards text and then the plane goes in that way. So smooth to the right and then to the right. To get rid of the effect, if you don't want it anymore, just go up to effect controls over here and you can either hide them by clicking on the effects button right here and it'll get rid of it or just click on the title and hit backspace or delete to get rid of them. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about flipping your footage. If you got something out of this video or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.